You know, somebody asked me what I do all day, and I seem to always find some project, the family's calling me, whatever. Here's today's video. I've got this belt here. I like this buckle, but the belt itself has literally just been worn down to a frazzle. There's not much left to it for where it has to, you know, hold me at the waist. So I've been looking for a replacement and uh, I found this really cool belt, you know, cheap enough. Problem is, it's got this really crappy plastic buckle on it that I'm not thrilled with. Oh yeah, a little push on the front, it sucks. This thing sucks. But my plan is, I'm gonna just cut off this buckle and uh, sew it on the end of this belt. And uh, the big tip for today, you'll see me sewing it, dental floss. If you're gonna sew anything, especially nylon stuff, use dental floss. Okay, so I've cut the old belt buckle off. I put the new one on. Now I've got to sew it down and the job's done. What you're gonna need, dental floss. I like a pair of pliers with some tape on them. And then pull yourself out a nice heavy needle but not so thick that it's going to be super hard to uh, push through everything. Try to pick one that doesn't have rust on it and uh, thread yourself up, go to town. Okay, let's get started. Fold it over to a good spot. This kind of reminds me of re-sewing my, uh, the dog collars. Push it in, if you can wiggle it through, fine. If not, just grab your pliers. And give it a push. Try not to stick your own hand. Leave a tail. I'll show you in a second why. Now you've got to push your next stitch through. And you're still trying to hold everything so that it lines up. Okay, that looks pretty good. So take your thread, the tail, over the needle so that you're going to catch the loop when you pull through. Now you've pretty much locked it in place and you can just get to sewing. Oh, actually, this isn't too bad when you get away from the uh, the melted section. Now, you can't break dental floss, so that's why I say use dental floss for these kinds of things. But I'm also going to tell you, sew the hell out of it. Well, there it is. Works great, came out nice. As you can see, I sewed the heck out of the back. But you're never noticing it when the belt's in place. And then the other thing I did was I, uh, I don't know, can I see this? 
put some 45s on the end to make it feed better. I just couldn't handle this crappy little push tab. These things don't hold. It's a joke. But a nice solid metal buckle or, you know, there's solid plastic buckles that they could have used. That was not it. Anyways, that's today's fix. Really like the pattern. They had lots of different patterns on these belts. I wanted something black. I got it.